dash on this truck is completely cracked up top so what we're gonna do is show you guys how to replace the complete dash from the top not not necessarily the whole bracing and all that but just the top okay so first thing we're gonna do is remove these two screws up here there's two screws on the top side right there and they're Torx and they're T15s Torx 15s and this one pops up just pull up on it and then pull towards you towards you and then after this we take off the one for the radio that also pops off you just pop it off with your hands now you want to pull straight back as straight back as you can because these plastic tabs tend to want to break Something. And then you have connectors at the back. So right there, you're gonna press on this tab right here with your thumb. Same thing goes for this one. Gonna move that one. Okay, on this uh, on this one, you're gonna have a tab on the opposite side. Just pull up. And then we're gonna remove your your headlight switch uh, vent assembly. Same way, you just pop it off. If you can't get your fingers back there, you can use plastic pry tools. They're like little, um, kind of like a, I guess you can say a plastic screwdriver, just a flat little bar, but it's made out of plastic. If you use one made out of steel, you can end up damaging the plastic, okay? This plug right here, as you see, this plug shows you a display on the screen which tells you your PSI, your fuel mileage, your transmission, your oil life and stuff like that. But since this one doesn't have it, as you can see, the plug is just there plugged into nothing. It's like a blank. So it That's just, why it just pops off. It just pops yep. off by itself. Okay, your headlight switch, however, that one does have a little tab right here. You push down on it. You can give it a good little wiggle right there and it pops off. Once you're at that point, you're gonna use seven millimeter, a seven millimeter socket for these two screws up here. should pop right out towards you. You pull towards yourself. Same thing up here, you pull towards yourself. Then we have another four screws holding the cluster in place. You just pull it towards you. There's going to be a connector at the back. And it has a tab right up here. Right up there. You're going to push down onto it. And push in and pull out. You're going to wiggle it. This comes right off. Then we move to the climate controls. Same. 7 millimeter screws. Disconnect those two connectors, same way. Push down, wiggle side to side. Push down, wiggle side to side.
No, no, no. Stereo system. You're going to have the, your antenna. You rotate that one side to side like so. It comes right off. And then push down and pull. Push down and pull. If you're wondering what all these cables are, they're just mostly for the radio. It's actually uh, for an aftermarket amplifier. You're audio out to it and these plugs usually they all go one way so you can't really get them wrong so don't be intimidated by all this wiring down here you're gonna have two phillips head screws you can have one right there and then another one over here and now you just pull on this Go ahead and take this one out of your way. Right down here by the uh, parking brake release, there's gonna be a 10 millimeter you're gonna have to remove. Once you do that, it'll come right down. Okay. And you have this connector and that's also a push pull. A little push right there. We can leave this one hanging down. Okay, and then we're gonna move over to the glove box. And there should be two screws. Torx, Torx 15. In this case, there's only one. And I guess whoever had been in here before didn't put that one back on. Take the glove compartment off. As you see, it stops right there. There's actually a little plastic right here. You just push it up, and you can see that. It's a little plastic here, so you just push it up, and the glove compartment just falls right out. Yep, people have obviously been in there. <laughs> and then you remove this little cover right here. And always try to pull it out as straight as you can, because those um, those um, tabs are very sensitive, very brittle, and prone to breaking. So now we take all these segments out. There's some screws on that side. There's some more sevens over here. There we go. Show. Here was one, and then the other one was over here. There we go. So that pops right out. As you can see, that's where all the clips are at. And then it's time to take the airbag out. One thing I did do earlier, and I forgot to record, record was um, disconnect your battery. Always, when you're messing with the airbags, steering wheel, passenger airbag, the airbags right here in the pillar, always disconnect your battery because if not, you have a chance of the airbag popping. And you don't deploying. want that deploying. And then you have another set in the back. 
You might want to use an extension so that you can get to those in the back. Your airbag should be loose right about now. So you can see that. I don't know if you see that. So now all I have to do is just start pressing little clips in the bottom, which I'll show you in a section. This is a little clips that you pry on. You, you push them, push them in from the bottom, and it just pops up. So as soon as you get this out, there's a plug right here. So this is a yellow plug. Usually, yellow means airbag related. Yeah. So always be careful. So you're gonna remove this little green, orange clip and you should be able to just press it and it comes right out and what you were pressing on this what what you were pressing on was this right here because a little a little tab locks in like so like that okay so you're pressing on this and you're pushing it down so that it can slide out of there these little clips I was just pushing them back and as you can see, up here, this is where they were inserted. So we have to remove the pillar before we get to that upper plastic. So you want to slide it a little bit. There you go, it comes right out. Same thing in the bottom. Just slide it, push it. There you go. These are gonna be 10. And you just just pull it slightly. And then there's a tweeter here, so I have to just unplug it. So same thing, you know, just press a little plastic right here. Push it right out. And on this side, it's a seven millimeter. You have that tweeter. So there has that tab right there. I'm gonna push down on it. Okay. Now we have exposed that rear section of the dash. We're gonna start pulling up on it now. Uh, it may continue breaking because it's already all cracked. Uh, so, you know, in this case we're replacing it so it doesn't really matter. It's going in the garbage anyways. So you just pull straight up. There's clips all along the bottom. Well, which seems to be broken. Apparently not. Apparently all the clips are broken in there. So, you know, there's pieces coming apart. And then you're going to have your ambient light sensor at the bottom, right there in the center. Okay, and that one, you twist it counterclockwise as if you're loosening a screw and it, and it comes right off. All right, so right now at this point, we're gonna finish removing all the seven millimeters, okay. which there's two. One there. Then one over here. That's fine. All right, guys, so you're gonna loosen the 10 with the ratchet. But you're not gonna take it all the way out because yeah, it's gonna bottom out. Well, for for us in our case, we're using one of these cordless ratchets, so we can only kind of semi loosen it up a little bit before we hit the windshield. Uh, actually, they're all about the same way. Um, probably best that we don't even. 
but but we're stubborn like that we like to try and save a, as little bit of time as we can see that one's already touching that one's a no-go that one's touching that one you can probably start it up a little bit so basically it's only going to be the ones in the corner that you're able to lose I'm going to continue on that one. Since this dash is really broken, you can't really tell that there's actually two more sevens here that I need to move. And then you have these wires right here that you have to unplug. This is for the radio antenna. And this is for your like your GPS or something like that. Uh, on star. On star. There you go. So it has two little clips right here. As you can see, there's a lock here. There's a lock over here. I'll show you again. Press these two. Push it out. Let's pry this one out. The plastic. So that's free. And then we also have to remove the one from the vent. There's supposed to be another one right here, but it's missing. So if you have it, take it out. Okay, on this side over here, you also have a couple of connectors. Um, you have this one right here. You have to pry up on it. Ever so slightly. So all I did was stick the screwdriver right under here and pried it up and then grab the wires and pulled them. Grab both and pull. Okay. This one has a big clip right here. Push it together and then pull it. Alright, and then there's a hole on the dash and then there's a, a snap-in clip so you got to pull this one out chances are this is going to break it's already broken so or maybe not it didn't break so yeah this is what was in there uh there's one more more right here i don't know if you can see right in there you can push that or just keep pulling to the back and that's it. That's it for your wires. We're going to move over to dropping the steering column. You have to drop the steering column in order to clear the uh, the dashboard going out. Uh, you're also going to have to tilt this one down all the way. So you... Okay, so there's two 15 millimeter nuts holding the steering column up. There's one right here. There's another. Right in there. Let me see if I can shine some more light. It's right there. And then, get your keys. this one all the way down okay 
because you need to get it out of the way so that we can clear the dash as we're pulling it out so before you drop in gear make sure you're in a level place if not always make sure to put your foot brake parking brake parking brake if you're like in a slight hill or something like that we always work on level ground so so we don't really worry about that yeah so start lifting everything slowly pushing all the wires to the back pushing the wires in so that the wires that are on the truck harness can stay here or stay there with the truck. Bear in mind, chances are this dash is going to break because it's already broken. So. And just push all the wires down through all the holes. Do remember where you were pushing them out from so that on the new dash you can you know fish them in through there to the same holes. Get some wires while they're in the top corner getting stuck. So from here on out, it's going to require us to work with both of our hands. It's a two-man job because it, the, the dash is really flimsy, so that's why we had to shoot from where we were at before. Um, so once you get it to this point, you have to actually pull down on the, uh, steering, wheel. On the steering wheel column and just try to you know bring, bring it in to where it slides on top of, of the steering wheel column cover up here. Um, and once you get it as close as we are right now before settling it in you have to start you know fishing all your wires through you know these are all the the, the stereo connectors and, and climate control connectors all that so you want to you want to make sure you fish all those wires through the holes where they were on the original dash Once you set it in there, you're not gonna get them in. You're not gonna, you're not gonna 
be able to fish all these wires through if you, if you set the dash completely in. Okay, so they had these, these um, stereo cables just hooked up up here and we had to, to cut these off, okay? Um, we know where they go, of course. We just had to cut them off in order to clear the dash to get them out. Um, they had it ran on top of the dash like this, which is why it was in the way. We couldn't take it out. So now I'm just going to run them through underneath. Through where they're going to come out, where the factory harness comes out from. Okay, so I'm going to run it through there. And then... Now they're all coming out uniform from the same spot. Um, then we're going to come over to the headlight switch area and get those wires out. You can see um, all the connectors up here, up top. I'm going to make them all come up and connect them. Might as well, you're here already. We're going to connect those. Well, I'll move over to that side in a bit. Okay, so once once you've fished them all out, we're gonna move over to that side and get those out as well. Use the lines on the on the footage. We're uh, running LED lights, an LED bar up top, and uh, apparently our camera is not too friendly to it, or it's not too friendly to our camera. I right, always make sure. It's good and clipped. You don't want to come back here. Yeah, you don't want to have to get back to this step, you know, because something didn't clip in correctly. And make sure you snap them all back into their holes where they're supposed to be. At this point, the dash is still very fragile, so don't put a lot of pressure when you're when you're um, pushing those tabs back into place. I'm going to do mine on my side. Make sure you hear those clips. This one goes into this hole. This one goes into this other one. Right there. Remember these two. Forget your cluster cable or harness, and um, see, make sure we're not forgetting anything. Okay, everything's getting clipped, so now we can start pushing it in, and and don't force anything. You know, make sure everything's settling in on its own. this point all your all your bolt holes should start to align and we'll just start running our, our bolts back in so now we're gonna start putting our 10 millimeter bolts back on
to make your your holes align sometimes you you might have to just ever so slightly push on your dash forward towards the front of the truck put in seven millimeter bolts. All right, so I'm gonna put the airbag back on. There's like a little logo right here where it says airbag. That's how you know it's the front. So just drop it in slowly. Hold it here and then plug it in. Don't forget to put the little orange clip, orange little lock. I don't know if you guys heard that, but that locked in place. So I'm just gonna push everything in slowly, making sure I don't wanna break the plastic. So I'm gonna put two fingers in the bottom as I insert it. It's just nothing but clips. And then it's got a Torx up top. One was missing, which you can't really get to see. And now when you go really slowly on that one because it's plastic. So now we put it, we finish putting the sevens down here. Just want to put them just snug. Don't over tight them because you will break the plastic. Like that? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're gonna put this. And then we're going to put the series of screws, sevens, there's one there, and then two on this side, so there's one up here and one down here.
see we got all of them here. Okay, so now there's going to be two on that side of the dash. You close it. So we just put this lid back on. It just kept. We can go ahead and tighten up these uh, 15 millimeter bolts that were at the or nuts that were at the bottom of the steering column. Okay, I'm gonna put those back in. And the other one's really tough to get to, but it's right up in there. Yeah, right there. This one back up and I'm gonna clip this panel into place. didn't clip right into place something's wrong don't force it and pull it back off this bottom one this bottom one was not aligning itself And put a Phillips screw that goes down here. And the other one on this side. And we'll come over to the bottom of the parking brake release and tighten up that 10 millimeter bolt. Okay, now we got two more screws right here on the side. We'll put our cover back on. There's clips. This is just a guide. I got the one up here for the vent. And, and these four screws. up the cluster Place the four screws. Okay. 
And there's one down here. Okay. There's one in all four corners. screw up here in this corner and then another one on the opposite side reconnect your headlight switch This one was just on there, just, just to be kept from not vibrating around. It, it clips in. It has this little happy spot too. This one slides in. There's a there's a um, slot where it's got to go into, like so. Then replace the two torques. This trim it goes right here. So I had to decide. You see how this one's straight? Just kind of like an angle. Can't really put it in backwards because it won't fit. See how it's open here? So can't really put it wrong, like I said. So we're going to insert back this piece. Now that everything's done, so we push it all the way to the back. And, and we need to twist on that ambient light sensor clockwise. hooks back there okay there's a series of, of hooks back there you make sure that those fall into place before you clip it in so it can keep some steady pressure along the back as you push it down So now we just have to just put the pillars back on. You want to start putting your pillar back on? My pillar. It's 
here. Don't forget to connect your tweeter. Clean the tweeter, make sure it's good and good clip. Now as you're pushing this in, make sure you come under the casket. The weather stripping. The weather stripping. And then just give it a little tap. So like everything else. You know, this thing always has its sight. You can see there's a little groove right here. See, there's a groove right here. And over here, there's this other groove, which this one doesn't have in the bottom, but obviously you can't, you know, put it back where it's not going to fit. Let's just put back 10. Snug it with a hand. Okay, so then you get your antenna cable, put that one up to your radio, stereo. Okay, one thing we had actually screwed up. Um, this harness right here these five connectors were actually supposed to be fished out through this hole okay Climate controls. point you can raise up your shifter
line all your clips. And then start pushing. Then reconnect your battery and you're good to go.